and fashion. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you for coming here, Glenn, Dana, Ashley, Fitzler, and I just want to clarify that you are the owner of Truth Aquatics. And yes. The, and the three boats, Conception, Truth, and Vision, not the captain. That's, that's correct, yeah. And I know that you did speak to our News Channel 3 reporter, Tracy Lair, briefly, first thing Monday morning. And I know that you spoke to Spectrum, a reporter with Spectrum News out of Orange County. And just want to ask you um, kind of the motivation behind wanting to talk to us today. Well, I, I really haven't had the opportunity to, to come out and speak to the public yet. And so I knew it was time. I've just been so inundated with everything else that's going on. I just wanted to reach out to this community and let them know how we feel. And you've been part of this community for, for so long, and there are so many people who are standing beside you with um, this that you're going through and enduring. How has this tragedy affected you and the entire Truth Aquatics team? Well, I can imagine, or anybody could imagine, it's devastating. And um, we're also saddened, you know, the crew is, is dealing with it, and um, of course our family, we're dealing with it, um, of this terrible loss. And um, a lot of these customers that come out with us are like family. And a lot of them that were on that particular voyage have been coming out with us for 20, 30 years. So it's, it's, it's a tough, tough time for us. You were just commenting in the newsroom that it's been three days and it feels like it's been months. I mean, it's just incredible the time um, over, over these past three days. And um, everybody's really concerned about, of course, the um, families of the victims and of course of the crew that survived and the captain. I want to ask how they're, how they're doing. Well, I know that you know we've reached out to the families and have made contact with a lot of them, and we're going to continue to try to get to every one of them. Um, the crew is having a very difficult time. You know, they're having to go through some inquiries and and um, and they have to recount the whole accident, and they're they're breaking down. They're seeking counseling, but it's um, it's a very very tough time for them. And you're in contact with them. Yes, yes, we are. Um, I want to ask, I understand that you immediately joined the NTSB task force committee following the incident. Why? Well, like everybody else, I want answers. And um, I feel like I have something to offer to the team because of my knowledge of our operation and of the boat. And, um, you know, we've been in this business for 45 years now and have never had an incident anything like this. And so I want to get to the bottom of what it was, just like everybody else does. So I want to aid in any way I can. With that being said, um, being part of this team, I'm not able to comment on any of the details of the investigation. But as soon as those details are out there, uh, or as soon as they're available, you know, they, they will make them available to the public. Yeah, we understand that the preliminary report could be out within 10 days. And the final report, it's going to take one, maybe two years for that to be released. Well, you know, that, they, they haven't told me that. I don't know, but that sounds accurate. I know that there's, there's just a lot to be done. And then, talk, you've already touched on it, but, but how long your family has been doing this? Kind of walk us from the beginning days to, it's been decades. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that at all? Yeah. Um, I grew up on these boats. I grew up spending time down at the sea landing. A lot of the team is family. Our crew is our family. It's a really small business. It's really tight knit. So this, this is crushing. This is crushing on so many levels that words don't suffice. And you want to, you want to apologize to the families. You want to say all these condolences, but it doesn't suffice right now. And you're in touch, obviously, with the crew also that you say is yes. family. And, yes. um, is there anything as simple as something that's helping, just keeping it through the days right now? We've stayed quite close. Um, we've been in close contact with every member of our team. And I think that's what's getting us through hour by hour, is just sticking together. Yeah. Um, the NTSB is holding press conferences daily and giving us more information. We learned some more information today. 
in the moments even leading up to the fire. Um, I, mean, I think everybody is wanting answers. Um, are you watching those updates? I, I have not been. I, I have just been, uh, I was, meetings. yeah, I was in the meetings all day yesterday, the entire day. Just days long, hours long meetings is filling your time right now. It was the entire day um, with meetings. We met with, uh, well, uh, three of the crewmen yesterday and got statements from them. So it took the entire day. Is there anything that you can share that you are learning in the last three days? from the questions that are coming out through the investigation? No, unfortunately, I can't share any of the information. That's the agreement I have with the NTSB. Okay. Um, and you did mention that you've talked to some of the families. Just curious, how, how have you reached out to some of the families of the victims? Well, I think that, uh, Ashley, you probably answered that a little better. We've had some families come to us in the area um, by phone, and it's still a work in progress. Um, at first, since we signed on to be part of this task force, we weren't exactly sure where, what we could say, et cetera. And now we're, we're reaching out to families and we're gonna keep reaching out until we reach every single family. Does it broaden what you're able to do or does it limit what you're able to do by being part of this task force? Well, Hmm. I don't know. For you, it probably doesn't affect you because no. it, not not as far as the families go. But for me, right. it it definitely narrows it. But I want to offer that assistance to get to the bottom of this tragedy. And making yourself and your crew and your captain all available. Yes. As as they are. Um, I'm just curious how how much support are you feeling? from this community. You have been part of this community, as we mentioned at the very beginning, for, for decades. I think it, anybody who lives here is hard pressed to find somebody who hasn't been on your boat or been part of it in some way. It's overwhelming, the, the support from this community. Um, that, I guess that's the only words I can come up with. It's, it's overwhelming. I mean, I have not heard anything negative. I've heard how so many people um, have gone out on the boats and enjoyed trips. I mean, that boat has been taking people out since 1981, and it's been thousands of people. And Dana and I met on board the boat. Um, so many people have met and um, since gone off like ourselves and got married and had families. And um, uh, it, it's just uh, kind of an amazing thing. There is a vigil that will be held tomorrow night at 6.30 at Chase Palm Park. Are you planning to go? I am. Well, we are. Nice. Yeah. What's that going to be like? Is it going to be healing? I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be hard, but we want to we wanna be there. And we're devastated by this, so we want to be there. Um, not help this be in the background and um, yeah. Can you talk about, I know it's day by day right now, in the investigation, can you talk about moving forward with the company? I think it's a little too early for that. Yeah. I mean, it's such an insurmountable uh, Item at this time, I don't think that uh, we can even really wrap our heads around that. We've got this task in front of us that we need to complete. Okay. And then maybe kind of appealing to the public. Is there anything that the community can do as a whole right now to help you, to help the families of the victims, to help the crew, to help the captain? Well, I think the outpouring of love that they're giving us now we pass it on to the crew, we pass it on to the captain. Um, that's just, that's just amazing and it really helps a lot. And I think being patient with the investigation, it's hard. Everybody wants answers right now, but they just have to know that we are trying and there's a lot of people working on this to find out exactly what happened and so just be patient with us and with the task force. Thank you. Yeah. 
So good words. And then, and real quickly, I'm going to go back again um, to today to the NTSB and, and learning more information um, as to the actions of the crew beforehand and during. And I think it really gave the community even a, a, another sense. Um, are you able to respond or react to criticism that people have have leveled against the captain and the crew? Yeah, I, I'm I'm able to address that. Um, the crew was located in a different part of the vessel and the flames reached up to that part it had already engulfed down below decks and um, they had no choice but to evacuate the boat uh, and captain jerry remained on the boat as long as he possibly could trying to get those radio calls in the other crew at, at, at a certain point when the flames had engulfed the boat and they were in the water, they said that they could see Jerry jump from the upper deck, a long jump, and that there was a trail of smoke following him. They thought he was on fire. So within minutes, they would have been consumed. So they did their best. They did re-enter the vessel from the back of the boat after they swam around it and um, they could not get to firefighting equipment because everything was engulfed. Anything else that you want to add or share or ask of the community? Well, I, I think that, that the community has done an amazing job as it is. I, can, I don't feel like I can ask any more. I don't know, you know how you feel. I mean, like I said before, words don't suffice, but to all the victims, to victims, families, survivors, everyone who's been touched by the, this event, we share our deepest condolences. And I know that doesn't probably feel like much to them, but I want them to know that. You're in this with them. We're, we're with them the entire way. This, this has changed our lives. This has changed the entire Truth Aquatics team's lives. And those victims and their families and our crew will be forever in our hearts and our thoughts and our prayers. And this is, we're in it for the long haul with them. Is there anything else that you want to say to me now? Okay. Thank you, Glenn. No. I think, I think Ashley did a fine job there. I, I would have said the same thing. Thank you all for being here. Thank Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, we'll stop and then I just want to ask.